Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Oftenberg, pastor at Jordan Lutheran Church in West Dallas, Wisconsin. Jordan's a member of the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod. Once again, a blessed Holy Week to all of you. Uh, as we're walking with the Lord Jesus Christ to the cross this week, we're considering Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, where the Lord again issues that wonderful invitation, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And today, we're going to focus on the best part of that passage where Jesus says, I will give you rest. I found this relic in uh, the basement, a little spring cleaning, 1985, I think, roughly, maybe. For you kids, this is a cassette tape in here. And what you would do is you would uh, put the cassette tape in there. And uh, this is all splattered with paint and nasty. But you would push the play button there, see? Play. And then if you wanted to pause it, you would push this button here. The Greek word that is used uh, where Jesus says, I will give you rest, kind of reminds me of that pause button. Uh, the word means to kind of make a person stop or cease what they're doing. Um, kind of means also then to refresh a person. I think of, you know, if you're driving for a long time on a, a long trip and you get tired, you're worn out, you, you pull over to a rest area and you get out for a little bit and uh, you feel a little bit better, uh, refreshed so that you can uh, continue your journey. And that's kind of the idea, the thought behind that, that Greek word, Jesus. Uh, I guess you could put it this way. He, he kind of causes us at times to pause in life, to slow down a little bit, to stop, and to think about uh, the rest that he has given to us through the forgiveness of sins and life everlasting. And that really is the dominant thought for us on this Holy Week. You think of Good Friday. The reason we call it good, of course, is that uh, Jesus there on that cross, even though he, he gave up his life uh, for us and suffered the pangs of hell to pay for all of our sins, uh, yet through that tremendous sacrifice, we have all, the complete forgiveness of our sins and we know that we'll be with the Lord Jesus in heaven forever. Uh, and, and so we look forward to that and, and uh, Holy Week really is all about uh, the Lord Jesus and the, the salvation and forgiveness that he has won for us and to appreciate that. Uh, so often in life, uh, we kind of scramble around a little bit, uh, and especially in these times, uh, our thoughts sometimes are not consumed with rest, and, and we don't always have that peace and rest that the Lord Jesus wants us to have. Uh, but sometimes our thoughts, our days, our lives are, are filled with anxiety and, and worry. Uh, I, I think we we wonder about our futures, we wonder about our kids, and we worry about them sometimes. Uh, we think about our bank accounts, our 401ks that have taken a hit, and 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 get a little bit anxious, I think, about uh, the future and finances and everything. And um, we worry about relationships that we have, spouses, you know, uh, brothers and sisters, um, problems at work, and it's just endless. And uh, we can begin to just become a, a real ball of anxiety and, and uh, get to the point where we just never have true rest, physical or, or otherwise. Uh, I kind of think of, um, you know, little babies when you bring them home. I remember when we, we brought our kids home from the hospital and they're just really young. And uh, I think they still do this as parents. You kind of wrap them up like a burrito in, in one of those blankets. That, you, know, you keep their arms straight. And, uh, you know, not too tightly, of course, but you wrap them up in that blanket, put the little cap on them, and uh, they, they feel safe and secure. They're, uh, they have, a, you know, that startle reflex, and, and if you leave their arms dangling out, they, they wake themselves up in the middle of the night, usually. So you wrap them up securely, and, and I think of how, if you want to picture it this way, the Lord wraps all of us up in the security blanket of his love and grace and mercy. Uh, so often left f to ourselves without his word, uh, we just spend our time spinning our wheels, worrying and wondering and, 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 and all of this anxiety. But he comes to us in his word and reassures us that we're, we are his children. He's going to watch over us and take care of us and provide everything that we need. You know, as parents, we worry, well, our kids, uh, you know, are, are, how are they going to, 
get through all of this, you know, and then the bigger picture, or, uh, what are they, are they going to be successful in life, those types of things. But the Lord really takes care of all of that. Uh, we do our best as parents, as good citizens and, and everything else, and he works everything out, uh, all that stuff out for our good. And so uh, it's important to remember that passage, a beautiful passage, Jesus will give us rest. Important to remember, especially now when, you know, you look out into society and in our world today and with this pandemic and, and even outside of that, it just half the time it seems chaotic and and there's no control there and, and everything's going to pieces. And uh, again, the important reminder that Jesus still is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Uh, he rules over all things for the good of his people. He demonstrated his love for us on that cross. Uh, that he, his love for us knows no bounds. And so we know that he's going to be there to, to rule over all things for, for our good, the good of the church, just as he's promised. You know, finally, if, if you're struggling with, with some of these things, also a, a good place to turn is to the Psalms. I think of Psalm 23 where Jesus reminds us he's our good shepherd. Uh, similar thought there. He makes us lie down in green pasture. Sometimes when we're running around and we're anxious and we're worried, he just kind of makes us stop and pause and, and remember the big picture, the, the, the perspective that he's in control, he knows what's going on, he's going to work it out, and he loves us so much so that he went to the cross uh, to, to pay for and, and to deal with our biggest problem, the problem of sin, death, and the devil. Blessed Good Friday to all of you in, in this Holy Week, and, and we look forward to celebrating the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ at Easter in just a couple of days. Until then, this is Pastor Offenberg. May the Lord then bless you and keep you. Amen. <laughs>